Previously, I've always used the FreeRTOS's version and repo for bringing down the code for the FreeRTOS kernel, and that includes support for RP2040. But actually, for RP2350, we now need to move over and use the fault version of the FreeRTOS kernel that's on the Raspberry Pi um, GitHub account. And that's then got the support for the RP2350 and therefore Pico2 within it. In fact, that has consistent support largely between the RP2040 and RP2350. I say largely because there are some differences or some additional things that you need to define for the RP2350 and we'll come to those in due course. So you can find this new um, FreeRTOS kernel repo over on GitHub.